Welcome back to Sweatin' Bullets Ranch. Today I want to show you a couple of things that we do to modify our ground blinds to make them more efficient and usable for us when we're hunting out of them. Behind me you can see we've got a couple of our blinds sitting out. This one uh, on your left is actually the Rhino 180 blind. It's a see-through blind. We'll show you that in a minute. Um, the other one is a Baronet. It's a five-sided blind. The tip that we're going to show you will work. It doesn't matter if it's a four-sided blind or a five-sided blind, but it does have to be the hub style of blind. This is what I'm talking about, a hub style blind, where it has the hub and then the fiberglass poles that are going out from that hub that makes a, a cross or X in the middle of the of the each side. So if you've got a four side, you know, you'll have four obviously, five side, you have five uh, plus the roof. But you have to have these fiberglass poles that come across because we're going to tie into those with a shooting rest. So come along and we'll show you how we modify our blinds to suit our needs. All right, you can see here we got a couple of our blinds out here. We've set them up and letting them air out. They should have been out where they're going to go a week ago, but we've been having some a lot of things going on and so we didn't get them out in time that's okay today's the opener for missouri archery season uh, we've got some stands out but we wanted to put our blinds out and we're trying to get some information off our cameras for some final uh, last minute adjustments before we set these out because once we put these out they'll be there through gun season uh, let's take a look at this one on the left this rhino blind over here this is a rhino 180 and I mentioned it's the see-through model and you can as you can see here so we're looking out the uh, where the windows down and we're going to step on the inside of that and we'll show you from the inside out you can't see in that blind right now uh, let's let's go around here this is the view from the inside this is the window we were just looking at and this is looking out the bottom part of the blind. There's where the windows are down. This is what I wanted to show you. The modification that we're making is it's really simple. I just cut a piece of PVC, a measure across here at whatever height you want this to be. Measure across, get that PVC cut, drill a couple of holes for J-bolts, wing nut those in there, and now you've got a good rest for you to shoot off of so i'll show you how to make one of those in just a second we're gonna make another one for over here and for over here all right what i have here is a is some just some old junk scrap uh three quarter inch pvc laying out behind the shed that we're going to use i want uh, the height that i want i measured across the uh, poles come up there and they're 24 inches where I want uh, at the height that I want so I'm going to cut this an inch longer at 25 inches this is not precise you can mark this with your knife or whatever you want to I'm just going to use my finger for right now and I'm just going to cut that off there there I made my mark there you go Simple enough. This is, like I said, this is not precise. I'm going to come in about a half an inch from each side and drill a hole all the way through. This is a quarter inch hole because the reason it's a quarter inch hole because I bought quarter inch J bolts. I had had some shorter ones, but the store didn't have enough of the shorter ones, so we got these. If they're too long, it's okay. It's not really going to hurt anything. Uh, you can cut them off if it bothers you. So this is just a hole big enough that this bolt will slide through here. And I'm not even going to measure it. This is not precise at all. Now the one thing I do want to caution you with is... I'm going to stick this drill bit through there. So you see how that one's going through there. We want them to go through there at the same the same angle on both ends. 
So I'm going to put this one in here. And here again, I'm still going to eyeball this. But just, I got my hole that's pointing up here. And then I'm going to drill it in from this side right here. Get on there. All right. Since this bolt is long, I'm going to go ahead and install it out here. I just use a flat washer and then this wing nut. Grab another one here. Now I got my hook on the upside, so I'm going to put my hook on the upside again. Just going to put my washer on there. Alright. That's all we need for this one. Alright, I'm going to show you how to, how to put these on there. I'm sure you could probably figure it out, but it, it's not too tough. We have all the, the netting all lowered down right here, just so you can see easily. Here's our fiberglass poles. So what I'm going to do is just hook, let's go over here and we'll start over here. I'm just going to hook that around the pole and then come over here and hook this around this pole. And then as we tighten these up, this is where you don't need a mile long Don't have to be unbelievably tight. I'll loosen that up just a little bit so I can get this on here where I want it. Well, just gonna tighten that wing nut. back over and get this one snugged up there we go and this is also going to help tie the blind together as well so now in in practice that window will not be all the way down it'll probably be up something like this uh, depending on depending on how much you want to see or, or how much area you want to shoot from but uh, if you want to shoot across the whole thing you can just easily just fold this over I've got another one that we used on a different blind that we had last year that I'll show you uh, it's also got a couple another modification on it and we'll show you that in a minute but let's go ahead and put this other side on over here I'll show you one more time how those go on it's super simple I'm just going to lower this down so you can see again. So I'm just going to hook that over the pole here, over the fiberglass pole of the blind. Hook it over right here on this side. Snug them up a little bit. And there you go. So when I'm sitting down, I got my rifle. I can put it up here, have a nice rest to shoot off of. And uh, you don't even have what you can do if you if you might get a close shot or you might be shooting way off. You can even put these at an angle, something like this. It does a couple of things for you. Actually, it kind of breaks up. Where you don't just have a straight horizontal line going across your window and now if i'm sitting here from my position if i wanted to shoot close i could come down here and be down and if it's further away i can just slide up and gain elevation as i slide up and just adjust myself from inside the blind so that's another option these are uh 
pretty pretty cheap to make I think the J bolts are gonna cost you around a dollar you'll have another probably quarter in those wing nuts and let's say five cents in the washer the PVC just use junk stuff if you I mean you can go buy it it's still gonna be pretty inexpensive this is what they call three quarter inch uh, PVC uh, just a schedule 40 PVC uh, which ends up being an inch on the outside if you measure it and uh, here's one that we had from a different blind last year this one's already painted up just spray painted camo this is just pipe insulation um, a pool noodle would work fine if you could get a black one or something that's not you know brightly colored but you can just get pipe insulation and put over this I split this so that we could get it on there um, this is obviously a different size it would be more for for like this area but it was for a different blind you could drill holes in here and make it adjustable to go you know for different widths or whatever uh, one other thing that I did on this one on these loosen this up a little bit and I'll show you I also came in here if you can see here and here and put some heat shrink tubing on there to keep this from being metal against that fiberglass and I'll probably go ahead and do that on these other ones as well just to uh, offer a little bit of protection so we don't have that metal squishing in on that fiberglass and it, it still works just the same so um, I think come on over to the other blind I'll show you a, a couple more little things that we do for our hunting blinds all right uh, we're in our other blind now this is the the baronet block out five I think it's called like I mentioned before it's a five-sided blind this thing is huge on the inside uh, it's a new blind that we've got so it doesn't have any shooting rests on it we went ahead and cut some uh, put we've got two three four we actually have five shooting rests on this one uh, but look right down here and I want to show you a couple of things that we do in in the field in use we always we take this this is just a moving blanket from Harbor Freight you can catch them on sale there's a couple of different sizes but the big one um, I think it runs five or six bucks on sale and when you get it out in the out in the field to put your blind and you're hunting in it it's really super nice to have something on the ground um, it allows you to, to kind of move around and not lose your stuff it keeps you quiet if you don't do this there's always some you know something poking you or whatever so uh, that's that's one thing and then another thing I want to show you this little accessory over here now this is a store-bought accessory and I don't know uh, who to give credit for because I don't know where I got this at I, we've had this for a few years but this just uh, is a shelf. It's got some hooks, got a cup holder here. And uh, this is kind of what inspired the, the shooting rest because this just goes on with these nuts. So what it is, is just got, it's got this rod that holds it in there. You just put that on there. And then put the nuts on here. It holds on to these um, fiberglass poles gives you a shelf if you've got you got your coffee cup in the morning or a bottle of water if it's you know bow season which still 90 something degrees in Missouri uh, got a couple of hooks for range finders um, you know binoculars whatever got a little shelf here so you could put whatever you've always, you've always got something that you want to keep track of so uh, that's a it's just a, that's a good place where it's off the ground you can get to it easy you always know where it's at so that's a few things that help us out uh, keep us out in the field when we're in our hunting blinds all right and one final tip I want to share with you you notice the blinds the the roof the ceiling is black the back walls are black and one thing that will you'll really be surprised if you instead of wearing your camouflage if you will wear all black 
uh, you blend in with the back of this and you will be amazed at how well you hide from looking from the outside if somebody's wearing all black you just really can't see them whereas the camouflage believe it or not you can you can see the camouflage against the back black back black <laughs> background uh, much better so if you if you're going out and you're hunting in your blind you either take a, a black shirt jacket whatever with you or wear it and you'll be a lot more hidden i think that'll help you be a little more successful in your blind hunting i guess that's all for this time but come back again thanks for joining us here at sweating bullets god bless